Here at EPFL, we developed a system for tracking multiple people from multiple cameras. With such a system, we can know the position of the sport player during the match. In order to use the system, we only need a set of regular camera, a computer and our algorithm. There are other approaches that exist for, such a, for tracking multiple people, such as GPS and RFID tags, but in order to use them, the players need to wear devices on them during the match, which is forbidden by the Basketball and Soccer Federation. Our system is composed of three core algorithms, detection, tracking, and identification. In the first algorithm, the detection, we represent the court as a grid and we estimate the probability of each grid cell to be occupied by a player. In the second algorithm, the tracking, we connect the detection result into trajectories. Because we don't have the identities of the players, the trajectory may be flipped if the players are very close to each other. Therefore, in the third algorithm, we are using the appearance model. We are using the color of the uniform and the number on the shirts in order to identify the player. Using the tracking result, and the sparse appearance model, we have a better tracking result. We are currently involved in a project for tracking multiple basketball players in the World Championships in order to understand their behavior. However, we can use the same system for other sports, for example, soccer, and in other domains, for example, tracking pedestrians on the streets or tracking customers in order to analyze the customer behavior. Now we have a system to know the position and the trajectory of the players during the match, the next step is to analyze this trajectory and know their behavior.